Hi Leo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your January 1st through January 7th weekly tarot reading. Generally, my readings turn out to be love readings. We will see what comes up. The whole thing might not resonate with you. Just take what does and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. Focus this camera in better once I have the cards laid out. Alright, so it looks like, you know, there's a lack of communication. There's a lack of communication somewhere. Somebody has isn't seeing the truth, you know, or they're they have they are seeing the truth, but they're ignoring it. There's the, somebody has the blindfold on. They're pretending about a situation, just ignoring the truth. You know, there's a lack of uh, cooperation here. You know, lack of communication, and it looks like you know something. Somebody is deciding perhaps to stop resisting change of some sort okay stop resisting letting go walking away you know that's what it feels like somebody is 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 contemplating breaking a bond of some sort could be with a pisces cancer scorpio there is a feeling of being withdrawn not really wanting to communicate whether that's you or the other person there is some kind of pretending though here so you know maybe you know this is this this can go a couple different ways somebody needs to make a decision somebody needs to make a choice but they have the blindfold on they're pretending being fake so you know this is kind of like you know maybe on the inside they're they're feeling one way but on the outside they're feeling another you know there is a lack of contentment here there is there's a lack of contentment here it's like somebody is definitely withdrawn from the situation it's like the, you know this is generally you know love coming in but it's reversed it looks like love you know is is headed out or some kind of something i mean some kind of emotional support is headed out it's got, it's been too much it's been you know the fight is just about over it's like the bond is 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 breaking Okay, the bond is breaking. Somebody is letting go. No longer going to hold on. Um, something is not well. Okay, something is not well in your life, Leo. Um, definitely dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aries, Gemini. Capricorn. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right, so there's some kind of commitment that is falling apart, okay? This is a commitment, some kind of contentment, some kind of something isn't going as planned. Things have gotten a little out of control. They may be a little chaotic right now. It's like it's time to get your life back on track, but you have to, you have to be willing to shed the old. You have to be willing to make the change. That's what this card is. You have to be willing to use your own resources to create your future, to accept the truth. You have to be willing to accept the truth. That's all there is to it. I'm going to I'm going to focus this in. Oh, it looks pretty good, don't it? There's a mentally restless energy here. Okay, there is. It's mental. It's mentally restless. It's like uh, somebody's ready to quit, just ready to quit this whole thing. And I don't know who it is. It could be a job. Could be a lover. Could be who knows what. But however it applies to your situation. Okay, somebody is willing. Is about ready to walk away from a situation because they are sick of pretending. They're sick of being fake. They're sick of. The, they're sick of it not being real. Okay, that's that's the case. It's like. The, the the love isn't isn't real I don't know what it is who it is whatever but it's like it's
restless. There's a mentally restless energy here. And it's like, I, you notice I can't even speak because that's what it's like. It's like, oh my God, I, I can't believe this. This isn't, this isn't true. You know what I mean? It's like somebody is totally... not following their intuition you know they're not following their um ways to justification you know what i mean i keep hearing be just be just be just and they're not being just somebody is not being just you know what i mean they're not it's almost it's kind of like this is an immature energy there's two pages right here it's like somebody just can't own up to the truth Somebody cannot accept the truth in this situation, you know, and the fact of the matter is, is there's a sexual, you know, there's a sexual issue. There's an issue. Uh, this is sexual. Okay. And it is reversed. Okay. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Something sexual. You, you take that any way that you want, but it could be just lost. Maybe it was just lust. It's not turning out, out the way that you hoped, you know, it's like here with this nine of wands. <coughs> somebody has reached the end it's like it's time to close the door it's time to walk through it's time to stop resisting this change it's time to let go somebody's been holding on and holding on and holding on but they come to the point where I can't hold on anymore I can't hold on anymore okay and the thing is is this this knight of cups it's it's headed out this the romance that you were hoping for turned out to be sexual Okay, or maybe the something to do with sex. I don't know what it is, but you take it however it is. It's like the sex isn't good, perhaps. I don't know. I mean, it's reversed, and and, the, and it's like this person is headed out because, you know. I mean, I don't know. You tell me, and I mean that's what it is. I mean, this is this is the commitment, but it's reversed next to that page of pentacles, which is I'm I'm ready to quit. I'm ready to get out of here, you know, and that. I mean, it is what it is. So it looks like there's um, a mentally restless energy here about having to make a decision and take the blindfold off and accept the truth, you know, that it's, it's not what you thought it was, you know. It's, it's not, there's a lack of compromise, there's a lack of cooperation, there's a lack of skills, there's um, withdrawal here, withdrawal, unhappiness, you know, somebody could be feeling like they don't even want to communicate at all at this time. Um, and the fact of the matter is, is you have the resources to change this whole situation. That's what this card says, is you have the resources, but it's up to you. It's up to you to change it, okay? If you, if you want things to change, if you want things to succeed, you have to be passionate about what you want. You have to change. You have to be willing to change. That's what this card says. And it feels like here with this with this emperor emperor card, you know, and the devil card, it's like there's some some kind of manipulation here. There's some kind of manipulation or dominating factor where somebody's trying to dominate, but somebody's not letting it happen. Okay? <clears throat> it feels like somebody isn't open, isn't open to something. Somebody isn't open to uh, giving more than they're comfortable with. Okay? And now we have three fours. We have three fours, but they're all reversed. And remember I said all is not well? Four, four, four. When you see three fours, it means all is well. These three fours are all reversed. All is not well. There's something going on. And it's been, it's been like fake. I see a fakeness here. Something is being like hidden underneath the surface, but on the surface it's like everything is good, but everything is not good. Okay? This, that's what the devil does. I mean, they're able to manipulate. That's manipulation. Whether you're manipulating yourself, you're manipulating somebody else, or somebody's manipulating you, there's lies here. 
There's some kind of lies. You know, it's like somebody is ready to speak up, but their determination to hold on, their determination to be with someone, there's codependency issues here, okay? Their determination to hold on to something that doesn't serve them is, is really making them weary. There's a lot of weariness here. Okay? It's like you're on the edge. Somebody that's watching this is on the edge because it feels like they're not, they really, really want to nurture themselves. They just want to be who they are, but they can't. It's like pretending somebody that is either watching this or that you're dealing with is completely being fake. I mean, it's time to be honest with this Page of Swords. It's time to be honest. It's time to be just. Even if it hurts. It feels it feels like it's it's time for you to 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 speak up. It's time for you to take action. Somebody in this scenario is just holding it in. Holding it in on the inside, they're one person, and on the outside, they're another. Whether it's you or it's the person you're dealing with, somebody is being fake in this in this situation. And with that page of pentacles, use uh, in the base. <laughs> Son of a bitch. That page of pentacles being the basis of your reading, it it's like I don't want to say the word because then somebody will get upset. But it's like. The page of pentacle is pentacles is like a um, immature like I want to say it and I can't say it. Oh my god! Oh god! Fuck boy! Fuck boy! Okay, somebody who who's just looking for and that can be a fuck girl as well. Okay, looking for sex. Okay, and, and this may not resonate with you, so don't get all hairy about it if it doesn't. All right, that goes for Jeff too. All right, so anyhow, I'm just saying that this is, uh, it looks like that somebody is not happy. Somebody is not happy, all is not well. Somebody, the sex isn't good. The sex isn't good, so things aren't working out. And somebody's pretending that everything is okay when everything is not. And I'm sorry to tell you that. So this card right here, this page of pentacles, says it is time to broaden your horizons, to focus, to speak up, to use your inner strength, to take the practical approach. But somebody's not being practical because it's reversed. Somebody's not being practical in this situation. There's, there's some kind of pretending for sure. Ignoring the truth. Oh my God. I don't even know if I'm going to post this one. <laughs> you know, and, and it feels like all, all, somebody just wants... Wants... Uh, Peace and harmony. Somebody wants peace and harmony. They want to get this relationship back on track. That's what they're trying to do. So they're they're keeping their secrets inside. There's some kind of addiction, okay? There's some kind of addiction that's getting in the way. Could be codependency, could be sex, could be drugs, could be alcohol, okay? There's some kind of addiction that is affecting a relationship. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Capricorn. And this is a, you know, this used to be a commitment, but it feels like it is falling apart. 
is things are getting out of order. And I think it's because, you know, somebody is trying to manifest something that isn't meant to be. I mean, there's all kinds of cards that could have come up that says it's meant to be, but it's not meant to be. I mean, trying to manifest something. Yeah. A door is closing. The two of wands, that's a... The two of wands upright is 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 a new path, you know, starting something over, going down a new path, going down a new road, a new door opening. This is reversed. Something has reached the end, the end of the road, a dead end. Okay, next to the two of pentacles, decision making time, by the way, two, two, two. It's time to make a decision. It's time to take the next step. It's time to stop pretending. It's time to stop juggling. It's time for a change. It is. It's time to bring balance back to your life. There's been too much chaos. Seven of Swords. Ooh, I hate that card. Don't you? That's lies, deceit, trickery. Somebody's ignoring the truth. Somebody isn't speaking the truth. Whether it's you lying to yourself or somebody else lying to you, somebody and some and there's awareness here. It's like some there's you or the other person is absolutely aware of what is going on. But you're in denial. You know, this is the lies, trickery, deceit, sneakiness, bullshit card. Oh, God. Dishonesty. Somebody who's very manipulative, controlling. Now we got the Six of Cups reversed. Okay, because, you know, it feels like they're bringing... There's lack of harmony. There's lack of peace. And that's all you want. Is you want peace and harmony, and that's why you're faking. That's or that's you or somebody else. Somebody is pretending. Somebody is pretending. Somebody is faking. Somebody is uh, hoping. They're hoping for that that love that they have felt in the past. They were. They're hoping that you know the harmony and the love that they felt once upon a time was going to be there. But the fact of the matter is, there's some kind of dishonesty. There's some kind of. Uh, Manipulation here, some kind of uh, control. This guy is very good with his words, and anybody could be taking on this energy. This guy is kind of like a, um, oh, what's the word for it? Very intelligent, very intellectual, can say anything through his words to, to uh, make you think that everything is okay. Very manipulative. Um... It feels like there was an illusion. There's some kind of illusion. You've been trying to be patient. Patience, patience, patience. You're like, you know, this is going to work out. This is going to work out. We just got to have patience. I just got to have patience. But the fact of the matter is there's some kind of deceit here. Whether you're deceiving yourself or not, I don't know. I don't know. Somebody is not telling the truth. Whether it's you or the other person, somebody is not telling the truth. And somebody is about to quit the whole situation because it's time to make a decision. It's time for a change. It's time to speak the truth. It's time to stop um, pretending. Okay? Time to let go. It's too heavy. It's too heavy. That's the Ten of Wands. It's time to put down the load. There's no need to carry it. There's no need. Why carry that shit around with you? Why? When you don't need it. The horse is even weary. It's too heavy. It's time to get your life back on track. It's time to take the next step. When you have the twos, it's time to take the next step. You have to have faith in yourself. You have to be honest with yourself. It's like, there's confusion here, too. There's a lot of confusion here. This card fell out. Ooh. Slow down. Nine 
Number nine. Nine's are a number of closure. That's a number nine card. It means it's time to close something when you see a nine. Nine, nine, nine. Closure. Okay, and that's a nine. Slow down. When you are excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. Everything is in perfect order. You hear that? There is no need to rush or hurry. In our excitement, we forget to enjoy the process of what we are creating. I know exactly what this is because this is the I was trying this impulsive energy. I was trying to figure that out earlier. This impul impulsiveness gets you in trouble. Just saying. Everything is in perfect order. There is no need to rush or hurry. In our excitement, we forget to enjoy the process of what we are creating. Oh, getting to the goal is half the fun. We also miss our guidance and messages when we don't take the time for things to un naturally unfold. That's the problem. When you move too fast things don't fold, unfold naturally and that's, that's when the devil comes in to teach you a lesson. Slow down. Slow down. Get to know somebody. This is advice. Get to know somebody. Slow down. Don't be too impulsive. Don't jump. Lesson learned, huh? I have no Leo in my chart. But I'm going to tell you this story because I feel like it resonates. And I don't know why I'm going to tell you it, but I don't know why it just popped into my head either, but it just did as I was giving this reading. I have this, this guy who's after me. He, wants to, he, he really wants to come over. Begging. But I haven't known him that long. It's not practical for me to let him just run right into my life. It's just not practical. I want to get to know him first. Talk to you later, Leo.